一，叮叮叮。Sloth at the Zoom by Helene Becker and Orby. One bright day, a truck whizzed up to the front gate of the Zoom. There was a new animal being delivered. It was a sloth. It took a long time for the zookeepers to get the sloth out of the truck. First, they had to wake her up. Then she needed a sip of water and a bit of a stretch too. When she finally looked around, the sloth was perplexed. You see. She thought her new home would be pretty laid back, but this was the zoom, not the zoo. At the zoom, the zebras galloped so fast they left their stripes in puddles. The monkeys climbed so fast they forgot to stop at the treetops. And the parrots flew so fast; their tails drew rainbows across the sky. What's all this fuss and flutter about? Wondered the sloth. After a few weeks, the sloth was ready to make a new friend. She called out. No time to chat. Busy, busy, busy. Said the cheetah. Don't you have anything to do? The sloth nodded. Of course, I have to listen to the shh of the wind in the leaves. A few weeks later. The sloth called to the monkeys. Hello, would you like to hang with me? Can't stop now. The monkeys screeched. We're up, we're running ever so late. They raced up and down and round and round the jungle gym. The sloth shrugged her shaggy shoulders, then chose a comfy spot where the sun's golden rays would tickle her belly all day long. A few weeks after that, the sloth flagged down the zebras as they zipped by. I like your stripes, she called. They whinnied their thanks without stopping. The sloth sighed. She shook her shaggy head. No one here has any time. Quite so, a voice replied. The sloth looked up. Nothing. The sloth looked down. There, cupped in a philodendron leaf, was a snail. Said the sloth. Nice to meet you. There was a long silence. Then the snail said, "Since you don't seem too busy, perhaps you'd care to have a snack with me." There was another long, comfortable pause. I'd be delighted," said the sloth. "But this could take a while." I'm in no hurry.
replied the snail. When the sloth arrived at the snail's leaf, they shared a bite. Then they shared a cool drink. And as the setting sun adorned the sky, they shared a contented sigh. The monkey swung over. What are you doing? Sloth offered them some iced tea. Next came the cheetah. What's going on? Snail offered her a sweet green leaf to nibble on. Mind if we join you? Asked the zebras. Everyone shuffled to make some room. And as day became night and night became day, the animals at the zoom slowed down. Just long enough, that is, to become fast friends. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that reading of Sloth at the Zoom by Helene Becker and Orby. Uh, this was a special book because I had two special guest readers, uh, my daughter and my son, uh, E, little E and little A, who read with me and did some of the voices, and I think they did a fantastic job. It was a lot of fun to read. Um, the Sloth uh, teaching us that maybe rushing through life uh, uh, is uh, it's good to slow down sometimes. Uh, nice, simple story. Great, cute illustrations. I love the Sloth. He's so cute. Uh, and, and zoom and zoo, the zoo with the sleeping, like the lots of Z's. It took me a little while to get that. Uh, but I had a lot of fun reading this book uh, with, my, uh, with my children. Of course, that makes it extra special for me. But I hope you enjoyed this fun little book as well. Uh, let me know if you did, and let me know if there are any other books or authors you'd like to recommend for me to read. I would love to hear your suggestions. Until next episode, I'm Elvin. This has been E-Reading. Thank you so much for watching. Be gentle and kind with one another. Bye now.